Now a 7 News alert. Five local police chiefs coming together in an unprecedented move over what they call a public safety emergency. This involves inmate caps at the Adams County Jail. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez live outside the jail. And Lance, this has been a mounting fight for the past two years. It has, Mike. The sheriff has capped the number of inmates he'll accept at the jail who have been convicted on municipal charges. Now, it's not a space issue. It's a safety issue. There aren't enough deputies here to oversee all the inmates, but the police chiefs tell me that turning away municipal inmates is a safety issue, too. We believe that the prison, that housing and municipal prisoners is a core service. Our taxpayers have paid for that jail. Police chiefs from Aurora, Thornton, Westminster, Commerce City, and Brighton say they work well with Adams County Sheriff Doug Dar, except on this issue. Last week, the sheriff's jail division sent this letter to an Aurora municipal judge stating that they've been very tolerant, allowing municipal jail inmates to exceed the cap but can't continue to do so. They said Aurora has three times its allocated number of inmates in the county jail. I don't know what's going to happen long term. I know the seven Aurora prisoners who were ejected in the last week are all in the Denver jail today. And Aurora citizens are paying to house them in the Denver jail, and they're paying to run the Adams County jail, which is not housing them simultaneously. So they're, they're being double taxed. The five municipalities say they've been working with Adams County for more than a year to reach a resolution. They voluntarily reduced their municipal prisoner population and agreed to a 20% reduction in sentencing. But they say they're seeing nothing in return. A great deal of effort's been made, not only with the police chiefs, the municipal judges, to look at the totality of this problem, but that does the sheriff truly recognize that effort? Uh, my own personal opinion, probably not. Many of the municipal inmates are serious offenders. Chief Oates says one of those turned down last week is a motor vehicle thief who was in possession of a firearm. He had previous charges of burglary, eluding, and escape. Oates says the solution is to look at the overall population here at the jail and not just have an arbitrary cap on municipal inmates. We asked to talk to the sheriff. I learned just moments ago that he plans to hold a news conference tomorrow. Live in Brighton, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.